Hello, this is Mark from Productive Computing. Thanks for joining me on this video. In this particular lesson, we're extending our knowledge of barcodes and barcode add-ons with Claris FileMaker. If you haven't already done so and you're very new to the world of barcodes and how FileMaker can interact with barcodes, I highly recommend you check out our original video on this, which is using the barcode generator in Claris FileMaker. That's the name of that particular video. We released that back in late 2020, and it goes through a brief history of barcodes, how it relates to FileMaker, and what you can do right away to take advantage of the barcode add-on. It'll show you how to configure the add-on, how to set up a file from scratch, and it's really a good understanding for the basics. So in this lesson, we address a comment from Steve where he says, thanks for this, it works great. However, I need an example code field to be an auto serial number and make it so that when you create a record, the barcode is generated automatically. Okay, let's grab FileMaker and I'll walk you through the steps to do this. First, I'll go to File and create a new file, and I'll create a new blank file and put that someplace where I can find it. I'll call the file My Barcodes. Now, I need two fields for this one to hold the serial number or the SKU, and another field to hold the container data where the actual barcode will exist. So my first field will be called SQU for argument's sake. And this has to be a text field. The barcode add-ons, in fact, most of the add-ons, really require a text field for them to be useful. It doesn't necessarily work with a number field. Then I'm going to need one more field here for the actual barcode, and I'll call it barcode. Barcode, and I'll make it a container. And I'll create those two. So I've got two fields here, and that's done. And there they are on my layout. The next thing I'll do is go into layout mode here and click on the add-ons option. Then I'll click the plus button and select barcode generator, which should be at the top, but it should be under the JavaScript type add-ons. So now I've just installed the barcode components. Now, I, in order to use this, I need to drag this add-on to the desktop. I'll make it a little bigger just so we can work with it a little easier. And that's essentially it. You can see that it has this placeholder, if you will, for a barcode. Now, in my system, I want to make it so that every new record I create a new SKU. So I'm going to go back into Define Database and make sure that my SKU is set to automatically enter a serial number. In this case, you could do a UUID or any other mechanism to create a unique, unique ID. It doesn't matter, but I'm using serial number here. Even though it's a text field, I can still create and use the serial number option. By the way, to get to there, I just double-clicked it, and that brought me into this options for that field. Then I'll push OK, and now I've got my SKU. Now, this first record is sort of a throwaway because it was created on behalf of me creating a new file. So I'll just delete that record now and get that out of the way. All right, so now I've got no records in the system, but I do have this barcode add-on. So now we need to configure that. So I'll click on this gear icon. And so long as I put those new fields on the same layout, you should see something here appear called uh, SKU, or your database name and the actual field name for the barcode source. That's the actual ID. Then the image field is going to need to be a container field. So make sure you create a container field. And I put here barcode as the name of mine. So that's it. That's really the only configuration. If you want to see the other settings and such, you can look at our original video for this. I won't go into that in this lesson. So if I want to manually test this, I'll need to create a record first. So let me create a new record that creates a SKU. And then I can click here and that will trigger the add-on to actually populate it. But what if I want a script to do both the new record and create the barcode? How do I do that? So that's very straightforward in this particular example, but the solution won't necessarily be obvious. I'm going to go into scripts and script workspace, and we'll call upon a brand new script. I'll call it create record and barcode. How about that? So the first thing we want to do is create a new record. So that's pretty straightforward and pretty obvious. Now, when I create a new record, the field will automatically populate with a serial number because we told it to do that in the field options. So there's really nothing more that I need to do from a data entry standpoint from, from the serial number or SKU standpoint. The next thing we need to do is populate the barcode. 
So you might not know how to do that. If you've watched our other videos, you do. Uh, but essentially, it boils down to performing a script. And the script we need to perform already exists here. It's called barcode generate as configured. That's the name of the script. So we'll use that. And you can just do a thing for as. That should be just enough word to give it barcode generator trigger generate as configured. And it's going to need a script parameter too. The script parameter that it needs, let me just hide this for a second, is actually located here on the actual component itself, on the add-on itself. If I double click that, I can grab the UUID of the add-on. This is just a necessary identifier that tells the script which add-on we're talking about. So I'll go back into Script Maker here and put that as the optional parameter, just like that. I can put quotes around it too so that it accepts it. Okay, and then you can push OK. And you think to yourself, well, that looks good. I'll be creating a new record. I get the serial number, then I perform the script, and it will work. Let's create a button on the layout so I have something to click. I'll call this new record and barcode. I'll perform the script that I just created, create barcode and, or create record and barcode. And if I try, try that out now, I get the record, but I don't get the barcode. All you need to do is add a one second pause after the new record that gives the record time to establish itself and for the script to, in a sense, catch up so that the record is created before the barcode is generated. The scripts execute so fast, they execute in milliseconds. So it just isn't enough time for the next command, which is to populate the barcode to execute, not enough time. But with a one second pause, it should be more than enough time to do that. You could even tighten it up to maybe even half a second. Let's give that a try. And this may also vary depending on the computer you're using. So the longer you give it, the more chance of success on this. Yeah, see, it worked even with a half a second. Let me pause for zero seconds and see if just the act of putting the pause script step helps. Now, zero is not quite enough. You're going to need more than zero. Let's try 0.1, which is a tenth of a second. See if that's enough. No, that's not enough either. So there's a sweet spot in there. And like I said, it might be dependent on your CPU, the computer. Let me try 0.3. I already know 0.5 works. Yeah, 0.3 works. Let me try 0.2. Maybe that's the sweet spot for me on this computer. This is a pretty fast computer, by the way. Nope, 0.2 is just not long enough. So for safety, go one second. Uh, if you want to tighten it up a little, you can go 0.5 and you should be good to go on most computers. Might be something you want to test. It might also vary between Windows and Mac. But that's essentially it. You've got the script, creates a new record, populates the barcode, and that should be all you need. So feel free to like this video, subscribe, and share it with those who might benefit from it. We appreciate you watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.